do you know that your YouTube thumbnail, if you have a motivational channel, the thumbnail will constitute to you getting a lot of views and engagements. So, and sometimes you are coming around and you are asking yourself, how can I do my own thumbnails? So today I'm here to share with you how you can actually design your own catchy thumbnails in the YouTube niche, if you are into the motivational niche. So let's go straight and let's do this on Canva, exclusively on Canva. One thing you should know is that when you go through YouTube and you see all this, you can see all these great channels. One thing that makes them unique is the way they are looking in terms of their thumbnails. You can see these thumbnails makes a difference. And look at this. One day, the person has 54,000 views. Just because of the thumbnail, sometimes and they are marketing. But with the thumbnail, you can also do it. So let's go straight to Canva and let's see. So if you are on Canva, Canva is like this. When you sign up and you log in, it's like this. To so start with, just type in YouTube thumbnail. Because you don't know the size, you may not know the size. The size of YouTube thumbnail. So just click on create a blank. But you can see these are different YouTube uh, people have created thumbnails for their channels. And you can equally reuse these ones by adding some text or some images to them. But just go cr to create a blank thumbnail. And you can use that one. It's good for you to be able to start your own design. So the difficulty most people face is where to get the images. And sometimes you don't even know how to search for them. Some can use AI, yes. But then some of us who don't know AI, how to use AI, we just go straight to places like Unsplash. Use Unsplash. And uh, the way you type, you can also use pixels. So we'll talk about pixels in a bit also. The way you type, so this is like uh, the way you type. I'm going to use Pexels and Unsplash. Pexels. So you can use Pexels and then Unsplash. So first you can start by saying frustrated. Just type frustrated. Because you see most of the videos that you see. Frustrated. You can add frustrated man or whatever. So you can see images like this one. I can use this one to create a motivational uh, thumbnail. Uh, this one to some, somehow good to use. Then you do more, load more. So you can see this face, this face. I'm just pointing to you the faces you can use for your motivational videos, uh, thumbnails. Then research, type another one, angry. Angry face. Angry face. So this one you can use this, this one you can use this, this one you can use this. If you see this one again, this one you can use this wicked face. This one is wicked face actually. You can use this, all these faces that you see. This one you can use this. This one too, yes, I believe. This one, yes, gangster face. So all these ones you can use them. When you come to pixels, maybe you type angry. You can see, right. So, most of the videos I have close shots. If this one was an adult's face, I would have lo loved that. All these faces, you can see, you can use them for your YouTube thumbnails. So, once you download it, you come to Canva, where you open the Canva destin. And uh, you can also use Gym, like uh, type in Gym, maybe or Boulder Building, Gym. So you see gym, so I can equally use this. Or just do gym fees. Because the difficulty is how to get your, okay, you can see. Okay, this one, you can use this one. You can use this, or you go, go back and do bodybuilder. Whichever term that you use. But make sure that there's close shot like this one. Great. You can just use this one straight. You don't even need to modify it a lot. So you go back to, you upload it on your Canva. I can equally use Canva to search. 
I can equally use Canva to search. Maybe angry face, you, you go to photos. They have photos, they have whatever. Then once you get whatever you want, you upload it. If you get it like angry face, on Canva, this one, you can just use this one straight, make use it, expand it the way you want. If you want it to go close, however you want it. If you want it to also be half, you can extract the face alone, even and leave the background, put text somewhere. So, but all you just need to know is where to get the images. And if you get the images like this one, if you are using, we can use this one. So let me use this one for you to see. I'm just going to use this one. So this is a, an image I want to, maybe I want to use. Make sure that it's dark because of this way, people will not, will not like it. People, yes, it's normal. But when it is dark, you have that dark team. So you go to edit, use the contrast section, adjust, contrast. You try to make sure that you see, you add some, that kind of like blackness to it. No, this is brightness, sorry. This is brightness. So the contrast, you can see, make it like, yes, black is there. Uh, the brightness and stuff. So you see that you work on it and uh, you are giving it that black feel. That black feel. Then transparency, just leave it black. Then you put in your text. Even with this black, I don't like it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the background so that I'll leave this side that is, I'll get add some black to it. So I'm just, just click, if you are a pro user, just click on uh, uh, BG remover, and you can equally do this before. So you can see it has removed this background. So now I want to work on the background. I want it to be dark. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's dark. Let me go to the position. Position uh, range. Sorry, let me uh, be back of that. So let me do the position. This one, I want this one to uh, overlap. Let me come. Let me just take it out. I want to do something for you to see. So you make the background black, make, make it dark first. Then you bring the image. So now I have the image here. I have the image here, but you see that I've not worked on it in terms of the contrast yet because I'm just bringing it now. Then I'm just going to work on the contrast. Then uh, you do edit. You do, uh, you can remove the background. You can see that the background is removed now, it's dark. Now I do adjust. Then contrast. Want it to be contrast. Then the highlights. This is, uh, what? Okay, I'm just doing. Okay. So, a trick on it is the contrast. You can see that now. It has that Jack Sparrow type of blackness. Brightness, then I'll do it black. You see, now it's a bit like, I like how it is. It's a bit, work on it, just work on it, shadows. Okay, so now I have, it's okay for me, it's okay for me, you can also add layers to it, you can also add uh, different things to make it a little bit dark, so maybe if you even come here, uh, you can search for maybe overlays, whatever you think that you can get to make it a little bit dark, that's also uh, good to go, that's also good to go, you can use this one. You can see, 
So we can use this to make sure that it, it gets a little dark. Mm -hmm. Then position you bring it. And it's, it's okay, you can use that. Then now you bring your test in, which is like, you just do and never quit. Never. Never give up. So this is okay, this text is okay. Increase it. And you have your YouTube thumbnail, motivational YouTube thumbnail. As simple as this is. That's your YouTube motivational thumbnail. Let's also add another one. The one I have, one you've uploaded. Maybe you've uploaded this. The one you saw. And you just fill this one up like this. If you want, you can do the same thing that you did to the other one. Remove the background so that it just falls into the black one because you want it to be a little bit more darker. You want the darkness of it. It's moving the background and it's going to leave the face alone. And uh, it's going to, you can see now it's much more black. Then you still go back and do the contrasting. You do the contrast, you do adjust. This is contrast. Make it, you can see. Of this one, contrast alone is okay. Black. Then you do text. Never give up. Just put it this way. You can make it small. But also increase this one to see how it will look like. Great. And uh, you have your motivational thumbnail. Then once you have this, just download it, this or that. You can see any of them that you feel like you have it. And this is a secret people don't share, you, share with you. And they are just doing their own motivational thumbnails and getting views. And we don't get to get views. Hope you've also learned something. And you can equally use any uh, software that you are using to design your thumbnails to get this ready. Then, still back to where you can, so you can also get the, some of the vi uh, images on Google. Just type in google.com, google.com. And if you want a celebrity's picture like uh, uh, Steve Jobs, just type in like that. Go to images. You can toggle between uh, tools. To see usage rights, whether you're using creative common use or cre uh, whatever use. But these are some of the images. Just pick any of the images of him and you can be able to use like this one. You can use this one. I believe this is generated by AI. But this is okay. This is okay. And uh, you can just check the line system of it to see. To see. to see how it works. And you can download this. Just download this. Save images. And you are using that to work on. You are using that to work on uh, your images. So thank you very much. I hope you learned something. If you learned something, actually uh, share. Share with me. Also, you can uh, like this, subscribe to my small channel to grow. And you can do it. Do the most motivational videos niche and do it well. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time.